Welcome back. I'm Linda Kincaid. Flash flood warnings are in effect for millions of people across California, Nevada and up towards Idaho. That says Hurricane Hillary, which has now been downgraded, hit California. It was the first tropical storm to cross the state in more than 25 years, dropping more than a year's worth of rain in some parts of the state. Take a look at this video. This is from Palm Springs area east of Los Angeles. This swift moving river popped up here on a road there. And that's where we find our Stephanie Ilham. She joins us now from Cathedral City in the Coachella Valley. Uh, good to have you with us, Stephanie. So this epic storm dumped uh, more than a year's worth of rain in, in a matter of hours. Uh, what a way to end a three-year drought. Uh, just take us through what you're seeing. Linda, I keep thinking about this year overall, about how we start off with some massive storms coming through here and in a way we hadn't seen. And now to have this summertime storm that is the rainiest day that they've ever had in Palm Springs in 100 years of records. And you see what it's left behind, an entire trail of mud. But that picture is not one that's being painted only here. It's across Southern California. This morning, Palm Springs is under a local emergency order as heavy rain from Hillary is causing dangerous flood conditions and prompting at least three swift water rescues. We're asking residents to stay inside, stay where they are. The mayor's warning is because of a situation like this. A pickup truck stuck in the middle of a street, surrounded by deep, rushing floodwaters. The driver was not injured, but the California Highway Patrol closed the road to prevent others from crossing. Those floodwaters so powerful a refrigerator was seen floating away in them. This drone video taken over a nearby neighborhood where the flooding has nearly covered an entire golf course. One homeowner says he's never seen anything like it in the Coachella Valley. Within 24 hours, it's turned into a torrential storm. Between hole number 13 and hole number 16, it's, it's virtually six feet thick. The conditions there also creating a dangerous situation for drivers, including a fire truck forced to turn around due to rising waters. Ahead of the storm, the Palm Springs mayor says the city prepared and distributed 60,000 sandbags, as well as cleared storm drains. Even an inch or two of rain in the desert can cause damage. All right, take a look at this. The road totally covered up, but it's also completely socked in on this other side of the road. I mean, look, Woo! I'm barely touching the bottom there. State officials say some desert regions like Palm Springs could double their yearly amount of water in just one day from Hillary. Overnight, officials in Ventura County searched by helicopter and on the ground for a couple of people believed to be trapped by floodwaters from the Santa Clara River. Two people eventually walked out of the flooded area, assisted by crews. Officials urging everyone to stay out of river bottoms and canals. Whoa. And this was the scene Sunday in Wrightwood, about 77 miles northeast of Los Angeles. Huge gushes of water forcing their way through a wash, carrying large logs, rocks, and muddy debris. Exactly the type of thing the governor wants people to be on alert for. Take seriously debris flows and floods, flash floods, lightning, possibility of tornadoes. And the mayor of Palm Springs is saying all of their major ways in and out of the city are all a mess right now. And take a look at this one here in Cathedral City. Do you see how thick and sloshy and gross and disgusting and nasty this mud is? This is why you have cars getting stuck. Uh, those two cars, a black and white one stuck overnight. This other black one on the right, they just did that a, within probably a couple of hours ago since we've been standing out here, despite the blockades despite the fact that police officers told that person not to do it. So this is why they're asking people to stay off the roads, why they've closed schools today. Um, also still having communication issues with their emergency response numbers. And so people, if they need to get help, are still having to text because they can't call because communications have been down here. So Palm Springs, this area, the Coachella Valley in the desert, definitely getting hit with so much rain, so much water that they just couldn't take that much happening all at one time, Linda. Yeah, just in incredible scenes there. I can't imagine the price tag it's going to take, uh, the cost to, to fix and repair that stretch of coastline. Stephanie Ilham for us. Good to have you on the story. Thank you. Meteorologist Derek Van Dam is tracking all of this for us from the World Weather Center. And Derek, California was not only hit 
with this epic record-breaking storm, but also an earthquake. Uh, and now this post-tropical cyclone is, is headed north through California. What can we expect? <laughs> Yeah, what's next? A locust invasion? I mean, my goodness, right? <laughs> How many things can they handle? Uh, it, it is terrible. The scenes coming out of Southern California are tough, and uh, we keep going back to these debris flows and the uh, mudslides that have been littering our TV screens and here's some of the best footage and I want to pay attention to this because it is so dramatic to watch how this burst of material and debris comes down the mountainside It literally can pick up boulders, full trees, vehicles, even homes. These things can run uh, and, and, and go basically up to 40 miles per hour, over 60 kilometers per hour. It's just incredible. And Southern California and much of the western parts of the U.S. are so susceptible to what is known as a burn scar. And these change the landscape of our environment for years to come, even well after the wildfire burns and scorches the earth. When we get this heavy rainfall event, uh, the canopy that normally absorbs the water uh, that is the loose leaf material from the trees above is not there. It's literally been burnt. So that organic material has now turned into charred wasteland and it becomes what we call hydrophobic. That means that it literally repels water. So just like water falling on top of pavement, it literally has nowhere to go. And eventually it slides down the hillside and the mountainous terrain and takes everything along with it. And of course that can lead to disastrous effects, which you're seeing on your TV screens here behind me. And you can also see just the amount of rock and debris that uh, was picked up. I mean, there's what what is that a bed? I mean, just incredible. Here's the look at post tropical Hillary. It continues to impact the western parts of the US. There are several burn scars across this area, too many to count. And with this amount of rain, I'm likely we'll see more burn uh, debris flows coming out of this. But check out these rainfall totals nearing 300 millimeters. And notice this. This is very high mountainous terrain. So anywhere we have that combination of burn scars and heavy rainfall, we will see mudslides and landslides. This is why we have millions of Americans under the uh, flood alerts. There are still flash flood warnings across southern Nevada and to eastern, southern, central portions of uh, California. Good news is that the rain, the heaviest rain, has come to an end largely across San Diego and into Los Angeles, but still plenty of moisture to contend with. This is all from the remnants of what was Hillary, and we'll continue to see several uh, millimeters of rain in the coming hours across that region. Check this out, though. We're going to end on this very active uh, hurricane setup across the main development region throughout the Atlantic. Uh, this is one we're going to monitor very closely. We have now a potential tropical cyclone that could impact the southern portions of Texas in the days to come. Uh, so it's almost like someone flipped a light switch on and uh, flipped the tropics on as well. They're alive. Wow. Yeah. Busy, busy time for you and everyone in the Weather Center right now. Derek Van Dam. Certainly. Good to have you with us. Thanks.